Hi, welcome to thestudygenius.com. In this article, we will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of database. If you want to understand about database, then first, you should know the advantages and disadvantages of the database, so let's discuss. So first, we will understand what are the basic advantages of the database. 1. Data abstraction. Data abstraction means to hide the complexity of data from the basic users. DBMS abstracts the data from the users, which is not useful for the users. It shows only those data which are useful to the users. Next is controlling data redundancy. Data redundancy means having multiple copies of the same data. The file-based data management systems contained multiple files that were stored in many different locations in a system or even across multiple systems. Because of this, there were sometimes multiple copies of the same file which lead to data redundancy. This is prevented in a database. DBMS controls the data redundancy and integrates all data into a single database file. Controlling the data redundancy also helps to save our storage space and increase retrieval and update speed. Next is minimize data inconsistency. Data inconsistency means different files may contain different information about a particular object or person. Data inconsistency occurs between files when different versions of the same data appear in different places. If DBMS has reduced the data redundancy, then the database system leads the better data consistency. Our data items appear only once means no redundancy, so the updated values are immediately available to all users. Next point is data manipulation easily. In DBMS, data can be manipulated easily because data is centralized, so once the data structure is defined, we can easily change the data like insertion, modification, or deletion. Fifth, data can be shared. Data can be shared easily by multiple applications in centralized database. In a database, the users of the database can share the data among themselves. The DBMS helps to develop a friendly environment where end users can access and manage data. 6. Data security. Data is very important for any business organization. The more users access the data, the higher risks of data security breaches. If someone stole business data then it would be very bad for businesses, so a company will never want any outsider to come and access the company's data. Business organizations invest plenty amount of time, effort, and money to ensure that their data are used by only authorized users. DBMS provides data security means protecting your precious data from unauthorized access. Data can be accessed only by authorized users of the organization. A database can be accessed only by proper authentication, usually by verifying login and password. 7. Support multi-users views. Multiple users can view the data at the same time. Using the database, many users can access the data at the same time, which increases our working speed. DBMS gives the ability for its multiple authorized users to access the same database from different locations in different ways to complete its different works. Next, concurrent access. Several users can access the database concurrently. 9. Helps for decision making. Due to DBMS, now we have better managed data and improved data accessing, because of which we can generate better quality information, hence on this basis better decisions can be made. Better organized data and improved data access give us better quality information which helps for making better decisions. Now we will discuss the disadvantages of database. So let's discuss some important points of database disadvantages. 1. Cost of hardware and software. To run the DBMS software, we need a high-speed processor, and a large memory size is also required, which causes expensive hardware is needed. The cost of maintaining the hardware, software, and personnel required to operate and manage a database system can be substantial. Training, licensing, and regulation compliance costs are often overlooked when database systems are implemented. 2. Cost of data conversion. When a computer file-based system is replaced with a database system, then the data stored in data files must be converted into database files. We need to convert our data into a database management system, 
there is a requirement of a lot of money, as it adds to the cost of the database management system. This is because for this conversion, we need to hire database system designers, whom we have to pay a lot of money, and also services of some software house will be required. All this shows that a high initial investment for hardware, software, and trained staff is required by DBMS. So it is a difficult and time-consuming method to convert the data of data files into the database. 3. Cost of staff training. DBMS are often complex systems, so the training is required for the users to use the DBMS. The organization has to be paid plenty of amount for the training of workers to run the database management systems. I hope you learned something from our website and also from this video. So thanks for this video and please like and subscribe our YouTube channel The Study Genius so we can create more videos in the future.